Okay, guys. So I'm about to put this thermal paste on these cobs. I did two putting the paste on the back of the cob without gloves on. Huge mess. I finally started putting it on the heat sink itself. It's way easier. The extra thermal paste will come out the sides once you bolt it down to the heat sink. And then you use that blue little scraper that it comes with to scrape the extras off the side. It'll come right off. That you, you cannot wipe this off. You have to scrape it off with something softly. So you can do it either way. Whichever way works for you, in my opinion, putting on a heat sink, bolting the cob down was the cleaner, easier option. But it goes back to personal preference, so whichever one you prefer. <laughs> So here we have the cob on heat sink underneath the light. I'm going to use the lens kit to attach it to my piece of aluminum, the lens kit right there. We'll usually attach these are the diodes that I'm going to put in the long portion on these heat sinks. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that's going to look like.
Okay, guys, here's the light with all the cobs connected. As you can see, the orange is the full spectrum. The white is a natural white. The white is a 4000 to 4500K white, and the full spectrums are a 480 to 780 nanometer spectrum. So I'm going to go ahead and light this up for you guys, and you can see what it looks like. Uh, my next video will be putting the diodes on a heat sink like this one that I'm going to show you and attaching it to the light. There will be three different colors, the deep red, the royal blue, and the UV violet. Each one will have its separate switch so I can use the colors as needed through veg and flower. <laughs> Here's a shot of the cobs lit. Um, coming up, you'll see them be turned off and turned back on. And I'll take you over the lights some and show you what they look like. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. 